what's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends toy review for the Marvel Legends Ghost Rider Series 3 figure. Uh, I'm doing this due to a video request, um, and I've had this figure for quite some time. Actually, technically this is my brother's figure, but um, yeah, so <clears throat> um, this is one of the first Marvel Legends figures I got, and I thought it'd be really cool to do a review on him, because number one, I think it's very badass. And, um, yeah, there's basically two Ghost Rider figures, uh, to get, um, through Marvel Legends. There's this one, and there's the Series 7 Ghost Rider, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, go into a long debate over which one's cooler, because I do think that there are strong points with the Series 7 Ghost Rider, which I don't have, by the way, or else I would do a comparison. But, um, I seriously think that this one is a lot cooler. I think just the other one is really scrawny looking, and that just was too much, you know, it was kind of really put me off. Now, um, I am not the biggest Ghost Rider fan, and there's a lot about Ghost Rider I don't know, so I can't tell you which, uh, Johnny, you know, if this is, uh, you know, whose bike this is, or, or what exact Ghost Rider this is. Uh, by the jacket or anything like that. I just don't have that kind of information. I'm not that big of a Ghost Rider nut. But, you know, as a Marvel fan, I do think Ghost Rider is very fucking cool, and I think this figure is equally as fucking sick. So, um, basically, the, most of the figure has this, um, this black and gray, uh, kind of wash going on throughout the whole thing, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, one thing that stands out to me is that there are a lot of uh, visible paint strokes, and, um, I think that's very, very, very neat, um, and there's, it, it looks, like, at first sight, it kind of looks like he's just all grayish black, but there is variety between the different sections of the figure, um, first off, uh, like, this jacket, um, like, the arms up into the gloves, and this chest part right here is all kind of, like, uh, like a leathery kind of look it kind of has to it, and then, well, I don't know if not le I don't, I'm not sure if leather is the right word to use. It has this texture in it. Like, you could feel it with your nail. But, um, and then this top part right here where the spikes are, it's got these lines going across. So these are, this is a different design. And then the gloves, of course, are different. Um, actually, the actual hands right here are the same as this upper part that I was just talking about. But he's got these uh, these spiked uh, wrist kind of things, forearm glove type of things going on. He's got the spiked belt. And then uh, his jeans, these are obviously gray denim jeans. It's very, very cool how this came across. Like, it's actually textured that way. You can actually feel it in, in rubbing your nail across it, that this is textured denim jeans. And then these are supposed to be kind of, I guess, leathery boots. I don't know, this very much reminds me of Arnold Schwarzenegger's outfit in uh, Terminator 2. Minus the spikes, you know. And, um, yeah, so I, you can see a lot of the paint strokes on here and stuff. So a lot of the gray over the black, I think that's very, very cool. And just give you a quick 360. <laughs> that was a very quick 360, but yeah. And, um, the face on this thing is incredible, I think. I just love how the skull came out. Um, it's a little bright, but yeah, so, um, the skull is this very nice color, uh, going on. I, I don't know what to call it, beige, I guess. And it's got some browns in it. And then, if you look inside, it, now the, the jaw doesn't move up and down or anything, but I kind of wish it would, but, oh well. And, um, if, I don't know if you could see, but inside the eyes, he's got the, Dot, red dots inside the eye holes right there, so he's got his pendant stare going on, and I like the flame color, you know, um, it's not transparent or anything, but it's this nice yellow and orange thing going on, I think it's very cool, and it's very, uh, consistent with, uh, the flames going on with the bike, so I think that's a huge plus, and I'll get more onto the bike in a minute, um, yeah, so the, <clears throat> the, uh, articulation on this guy uh, the head moves side to side very easily, and up and down, that's as far up as it goes, that's as far down as he goes. Um, he's got these more old school legend type of, uh, shoulder joints right here where they pop out in the back, especially on this side, you can see the gaping hole, you know, kind of like, uh, Series 1 Iron Man a little bit, you know, but this is definitely a different model. He's got a ball joint for the shoulder, right, uh, swivel right here on the bicep, double jointed elbows, forearm rotates, and wrist moves up and down. 
and he does have these finger joints right here that close and this has like a pointing finger sticking up like that and this side is more of a solid grip but same articulation on both sides of the arm uh torso joint moves up and down and it's kind of you know it doesn't have like a hinge or a clicking kind of thing it kind of reminds me of those uh the old school gi joes but it doesn't you know whip around you know and uh so it moves side so it's a solid diaphragm joint it moves quite a bit i like it he has a torso joint right here and uh his legs move up and down and out. Um, one thing I wish is his legs could move a little bit closer to each other, and maybe they could on your Ghost Rider, but not really on mine. I'm not down to force it. Uh, I really don't want to break this thing. I've had it for a while. So thigh joint right here, double jointed knees. Uh, rotates just underneath the spikes right here on the boot. And uh, on the boot. And moves up and down right here on the foot, ankle. It swivels a little bit. Not a whole shitload, but a decent amount. And the toe joints move very nicely like that. Wow, that's a lot of articulation. Um, his weapon is basically, you know, I like to have him wearing his chain like this. But you could, of course, take it apart right here. I'll show you a little closer. Um, it connects like this. So you have this piece that goes into this piece. And it connects like so. Right? Or you can, in, you could split it apart and I like having him hold it so if he's you know holding it like that like his weapon you know his chain whip and now the bike um, like <clears throat> the bike is very cool there's a lot of decent amount of detailing I mean it's most for the most part it's just a solid black okay but like I said before like I really like how they did this yellow and orange with the flames um, this isn't the most detailed uh, gray uh, I've seen from Toy Biz, but, you know, it looks alright. Looks pretty cool. Doesn't have as much of a metallic look as, uh, say, like the Colossus or anything, but it still looks dope. I mean, remember, this is Series 3. You can see a lot of the paint strokes on this, so it looks a little bit more roughly done. Uh, definitely, like, right here, you can see all these black streaks and everything. And the seat right here is nice brown. It's got the little silver dots going around right here. Some more gray right here. You can see the speedometer and odometer and all that stuff. This is just bent a little bit from the pose I had him in. There's a gas tank. And um, and he does have <coughs> wheels underneath here. So he will roll on both. And he does have hole pegs. Uh, not hole pegs, but, um, you know, um, wall mounting holes right here. So I like to have him up on the wall like that. And that's pretty much it. It looks pretty badass. And he has these hole peg thingies right here so that you could put his feet in there. The bottom of the feet like that, like that. And you can set up your Ghost Rider. So let's see if I could set him up really quick before I run out of time. So just put that one in there. Okay, that side already came out. Yeah, alright, so it's kind of a pain in the ass, but you get the idea. And then I ha put one hand on this. Yeah, let's have it raised up like that, and he's holding his chain. He's doing his Ghost Rider thing. So there he is. Pretty cool, huh? That's not all the way in there in the foot peg, but there you go. You get the idea. Alright, that is my Ghost Rider Series 3 review. Thanks for watching.